Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is our fifth day here in Norway. I'm gonna go move my stuff into the next room. If you guys will remember yesterday, they messed up our reservation, but we do have the new room. It's funny, I do this too. Like when I'm working on my laptop, I'll just leave it here to go to the bathroom or whatever. It's interesting to see that I'm not the only person that does that. Yeah, we're in Norway. I don't think anybody's gonna be walking off with laptops. Then again, I do that everywhere, so. So this is supposed to be the one with a really good, holy shit. Whoa. This is the room we should have had last night. I'm not optimistic, but yeah, no, just a regular shower. Okay, let's go explore the island and see if we can't find some food somewhere. It is Sunday, so I'm not sure if anything is gonna be open. And all of those groceries I got yesterday, I already ate them, so. So you might think this is interesting. They have a bird here. You can see a picture of it right there. It is called a sea eagle. It's not a seagull, it's a sea eagle. I found a little bakery and it is closed on Sundays. Hello, can I get two slices of this? Thank you. Okay, so this whole thing was 20 bucks. Let me show you what all we got. It's honestly not as bad as I thought it would be. So first we got two slices of pizza right there. Not bad. We got three little baguette looking things, three little croissant things that French people like with chocolate. We got a bag. I think this is gum or like it's like a sour candy. And we got our drink. 20 bucks. Uh, obviously $20 could go a lot farther in other countries, but this is not, this is not terrible. The place we got, this is called Narvesin. So I think that's like their convenience store, local brand. Okay. Pepperoni pizza. Yeah. So you can get one slice for $3 or two slices for five. So we were able to get a deal on this. This is not terrible. Now I'm going to head back to the hotel and I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day reading. Yeah, yeah, I got pizza. I got uh, little croissant things with chocolate in them. We've been here for a little while. I need to do laundry. They don't really have a laundromat here, so we're gonna wash all of our stuff in the sink. So the sink is motion activated. I can't just like turn it on and like leave it on. I don't know how to make it hot or cold. I think shampoo is probably, wait, what? Okay, yeah, this will work. This is my own personal travel hack. Take a hair dryer and take your socks, take the sock around the hair dryer. They will dry up so fast. And can I get that Capricosa big? Sure, yeah. With yeah. light cheese, a uh, little cheese. A little cheese? Yes. Okay. Check this out. This is this is what 7-Up looks like here. It's just a clear glass. I don't see any bubbles in it. Does this look carbonated to you? Test it. See if it's carbonated. Oh, yeah. Indeed there's the bubbles. There's the bubbles. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Repossessing a car, what is that like? It's not fun. It hurts. Like, it's like people's transportation. But if you don't pay for the car. But they're renting it. Like, like do they just not give it back? Do they just like, take it and assume that they can keep it? Yeah. This pizza was $17, which is actually kind of similar to what you find in America. Yeah, so this was $16 and her spaghetti was $18. Okay, so we are leaving here tomorrow by plane. <laughs> This hotel has a section of board games. You've got uh, Bakugan, I Love Norway, Spill Magasin. Uh, I don't recognize, oh, they've got Trivial Pursuit. I recognize Trivial Pursuit. Oh, why is that door open? Yeah, I was gonna say like, our, our important stuff is in here. <sighs> this is our last day in this hotel. We've got to fly back to Oslo. 
people on Reddit, they're asking me if I feel bad about this trip because I haven't been able to make a lot of content about it. But that's not really the point of this trip. The point of this trip was to get me back to Europe. If I didn't go on this trip, I would still be working on my car. And then when my car was finished, something else would break and I would still be working on my car. And then I would still be working on my car. This trip was mostly just meant to get me back into Europe, to get me back on the bike. We still have a bunch of like airport stuff to deal with, but this has been great. Okay, we had our fun. Now we need to start the long trip back down to the bottom of Norway. We're on a bus for like three hours today, then we're on a plane, and then we're on another plane tomorrow. <sighs> So the tickets that we got for the ferry to get here, they also work for all of the buses, so we don't need to purchase any new tickets. <laughs> yeah, gas here is about $2 a liter, so that's roughly the same price as you would get in like northern Canada. Yes, I will leave this here with you. Our flight doesn't leave for another like six hours, so I'm going to go to the gas station nearby. This feels very American. Hey, check it out. We're able to get a sandwich for, I think, $2. Much better than airport food. These guys. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Spent almost $7 on the sandwich. You know, it's funny. Before I got here, people told me that Norway was expensive, but I thought it was expensive for like European standards. So I thought this would be like American prices. Ooh. No, Norway is absolutely the most expensive country I've ever been to. Okay, let's go run through Norwegian security. Super seamless. This is the last time we're gonna be in the Arctic Circle for a while. Remember, the train to get up here took like 12 hours. The flight back is only gonna take two. We are back in the Oslo airport, so that means I need to get my duffel bag out of the storage lockers. I think it's gonna cost like 70 bucks. Yeah, I still need to get my bag out of the storage lockers. Oh yeah. Okay, slight problem. I'm supposed to enter the pin code for this so I can unlock the locker, but the picture that I took of my receipt doesn't seem to be here. Luckily, because I film everything, I've got the TikTok right here of the video. You can see my receipt in the corner right there. I think I can probably read the code off of the receipt. Oh, check that out. Yep, locker number 157, code 427. 280. Good thing I film in 4K. English. And look at that. They only want me to pay 50 bucks. Yes. That could have been so bad if I didn't actually have that code. Holy shit. Yeah, see, and then if I need this in the future, let's push the button. And boom, our bag is right there. The thing that actually concerns me is that I very clearly remember taking a picture of the last receipt because I knew I would need it. I'm not sure where that picture went. Our flight to Bulgaria doesn't leave until tomorrow, so we gotta go meet up with Jackie again so we can spend the last night in the hotel. Here we are, platform 40. <laughs> Come on, bathtub. Holy shit, fuck yeah. Boom, bathtub. Oh, perfect. Oh my God, what a great day. We just need some Diet Coke so we don't get dehydrated because we're gonna be in that bathtub for a long time. There's not a convenience store anywhere around here. Fuck. I'm gonna go take a bath. Tomorrow we fly to Bulgaria and get on the bike. Okay, good morning everybody. It's five o'clock in the morning and we need to go head to the airport. We have one more flight and then we are in Bulgaria. She is still sleeping in the room. She doesn't need to leave for like four or five more hours, but our flight is early. Holy shit, security was not playing around. My baggage got sent through the x-rays like four times a piece. They had to keep taking stuff out. It's like I'd never seen a tent before. So funny enough, we need to go through customs because apparently this is like an international flight. 
even though Bulgaria is both in the EU and in the Schengen zone when you're flying. When I was in Bulgaria last, it was not part of the Schengen zone, but apparently it is now. All passengers with group A. I am so excited to be done with fucking flying. <sighs> Looks like I got a window seat. Okay, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in Bulgaria. That is the end of the Norway season. Let's go get this bike. Yeah, so we just get a bypass passport control. We are still in the Schengen zone. I do not need to get a SIM card because my uh, American SIM card will give me international data for the next like three months.